Hey y'all, I'm up underneath my trailer. <laughs> this is what I gotta fix right here. Also gonna adjust my brakes while I'm down here. This is what the uh, DOT officer saw. He wrote that on the uh, inspection report. It has a negative remark on our on me. But I got everything I need to fix it, finally. I'm over here at Sap Brothers in Denver and I, I walked right down the street to uh to the fleet prize, it's like about a half a mile down the road. That's kind of my strategy, man. Out on the road, like I'll get parked, uh, you know, at a truck stop or wherever, really. Shoot, I might, I might, you know, I might try, I, I, I park in some places, man. If, if I think the truck's safe there, ain't nobody gonna mess with me, man. I might try to park there. But uh, anyhow, I'll, I'll park somewhere and then I'll just like, I don't mind walking walking to uh you know walmart or walking to you know some outlet store or like it's fleet pride or anything man but uh we're gonna fix this right here and uh i got a video editor so hopefully i can like cut this video and then show y'all the after effect you know the, the after part i'm trying to show y'all the video. that's what it, this this uh this piece piece right here the clevis the thre the threads, the inside threads on this right here, they're not they're like gone. And uh, but the threads right here are still good. So I went to Fleet Pride and bought me this. So this should it should uh you know work. I got my brakes the trailer blade brakes released right now. So I can pull this back. You know I can pull that back, work with it. Uh, you see the gap right there. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna adjust my brakes on the truck in, on the trailer in the in the tractor too. But uh, whenever I get finished, I'll show y'all what what it looks like. The hard part is done. Got it in there. See, more than enough. Plus, I got this this uh backer nut back back down tight. Had a that's where I had to grip the shaft from, but I guess that's the easy part, right? I mean, the hard part, the rest of it's easy putting these pins in. There it is, y'all. Got it on. Got the pins in. Fixing to adjust these brakes. So the, the way that I was taught to adjust these brakes, man, is basically you uh, release the brakes on the tractor I mean, uh, if you're working on the trailer or the tractor, whatever you're working on, you release the brakes on them. I'm working on the trailer, so I, I got my tractor brakes set, keep from rolling. But I got my trailer brakes released. So whenever you're adjusting these brakes, you see that gap between the shoe and the, and the, uh, the rotor? Basically, you need a 7 16 wrench, and uh, you see this right here? This is how you adjust the brakes, man. When you turn it, I, you know, it, that's, it, it makes it move. So here's what I'm gonna do. The way that I was taught was to, to uh, tighten it down. Tighten it down to where you see the brake pads touching. And then you come back and let off just a little bit. I think I let off too much. I let down a little bit. I think that's good. I already did this side, so now I'm gonna go up here and do the other axle. But yeah, 
See that big old gap right there? I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Let's see what we do. Oh, I need a crescent wrench. I need to go get my wrench because that's not a, that's not no 716. I'm gonna pause this video. Another thing, there's this uh, valve over here, air valve for the brake system. I don't know if it's a relief valve or what, or if it's a malfunction, but this, this always leaks air right here. I'm gonna show it to y'all. I think it's a relief valve. Y'all see that? I don't know, maybe y'all might be able to tell me, man. Is that a relief valve? Is this supposed to leak air? I think it is, man. But I don't know. Anyhow.